Through it, we're gonna go through it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Your boy is here. Hi, my name is Maybarock. Maybarock. <laughs> um, listen, guys, we're on fire, man. In the middle of a pandemic, we are on fire. So, yesterday, yesterday, I brought you guys a y t u. And boy, did she blow. Congratulations to all the winners. I know a lot of you won. Smash that like button if you want an AYTU. Smash it. Double smash it. This is the like button. Smash it. Smash. Smash, 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 smash. If you got some AYTU, smash it. So I also brought you... Sano Nanotech. S A N O S N A N F in America. And they blew today. Congratulations to all the winners. And I sold my shares. Congratulations to me. Thank you, Stock Guts, for my daily bread. Thank you. Oh, hey, always thank the Stock Gods for the daily bread. And take your money and run. When you see it, don't get greedy. Take your money and run. Stay in cash. Cash is king. Wait for the next opportunity to present itself. When it does, buy in the red. And when you see the green, sell. Thank the stock gods for your daily bread. Now, another one. I'm going to get into the AYTU, but I want to talk to you about another pick that I think has a chance to run. I think it has a chance to run wildly. And Crypto Man is on it today. RMTI up 7%. Guys, these guys are working on FDA approval. It's like the magic words, FDA approval. RMTI. Put on your watch list. Put on your radar. Another one of the rich picks that I own and I believe is going to explode, explode. Just saying, it may not, it might, 
And if it does, you know, I'll be back to let you know about it. Right? Because I told you about AYTU yesterday. I told you about Sona a couple weeks ago. And I told you about it yesterday. I know you guys, you guys like the hats better. You don't like the hair. I didn't put any gel in it or anything. But I got hair. That's something to like. I actually have hair. Do you remember what it even looked like? Do you remember what it even looked like? I've been wearing hats so much. Um, even in a recession, we are finding winners, okay? Now, I want to read to you guys the AYTU Bioscience News. You ready? From the NASDAQ today, a specialty pharmaceutical company focused on commercializing novel products that address significant patient needs announced today that it has received confirmation from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, that the company may begin distribution of its coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-219 IgG backslash IgM rapid test throughout the United States of America. AYTU. AYTU. AYTU just got FDA approval. There's a reason why they're running, folks. There's a reason why they're running. Wow. Oh, my goodness. There's some picks running. AYTU right now up 39% at $1.89. But I got more. I got more where that came from. But if you want my picks, you got to smash the like button, man. You got to smash the like button. We can't have 16 likes and everybody's just getting free picks. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that with me, man. Nah, man. If you guys want more picks, we got to get more likes. We got to get more likes. doesn't work like that over here, man. doesn't work like that over here. Hey, thank you, Dan. I appreciate you, man. And thank you guys for the 23 likes, but we got to get our likes games up if you guys want more picks because I got more winning picks for you. Believe me. Believe me. And I don't go to other people's channels to get winning picks. You got to come here to get the winning picks. That's the way it works. Everybody else, they all come to my channel to get the winning picks. They come to this community to get the winning picks. There's a reason why they don't want to smash the like button. They want to take that pick and they want to go run and do a video about it themselves and say, hey, look, I called AYTU first. They got FDA approval. I called it first. Look at me. Look at me. AYTU, AYTU, AYTU. Come on, man. We know who calls it all first. There ain't nobody else out there doing this. Nobody. I challenge the world. Let's go. Let's challenge the world. Anybody out there in the world, head to head, pick for pick. Let's go. Any YouTuber in the world, pick for pick. Let's go. Anybody. We will take you out every single time. And you know it. You know it. Because we call companies before they explode. We actually call the winners before they explode. It's true. It's true. Fernando says, hey, Rich, I'm in the community now, and I'm really hoping you can help me. Hey, man, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help. But we got to get the likes game up. All the haters are leaving. The people that are here, 30 likes. Thank you, guys, for the 30 likes. I appreciate you. Let's get the likes game even higher. Let's get it even higher. Let all the haters go. They're shamed. They're just here to steal our picks. You guys are shamed. If you want to be a part of this community, and if you're alive, smash the like button, and I'll give you some picks. Because I got some picks for you guys. Believe me, I got picks for you guys. And I guarantee you, you haven't heard about these picks anywhere else. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Because everybody else is watching Rich. <laughs> So where, where are they going to get the picks from if they don't get it from here first? <laughs> Clearly. Ron says, Tonix TNXP gearing up to pop any day. Friday, they were invited to the Who. Let's go, Rich. Smash the like. Thank you guys for the 37 likes. Let's get 40 likes, and then I'll give you my picks. We need three more. Three more, guys. And thank you for the 37, though, by the way. 
I'm not trying to act like that don't matter. It does matter. It means a lot. Let's get three more. Come on. There's no reason to be a hater. Just smash it. There's no need to, to be a hater. Just smash it. Just hit that like button. There's a like button. You just smash it. Just smash it. <laughs> Thank you, Johan. Options do expire. Options do expire, but you can decide what your term is for options. Fat Nut says, what's going on, Rich? It's been about a year and a half, and I'm still rocking with you. Hey, man, I think I'm becoming a better trader every day. If you plan to become a better trader every day, then you're going to have to learn how to deal with every single situation. I'm way more diversified now than I was a few months ago. I feel like I'm 10 times the trader than I was a few months ago. I have oil. I got gold. I have big board stocks. I have cannabis stocks. I have medicinal stocks like RMTI, which I'm very bullish on. And I believe that these prices are a gift for RMTI. Um, recently, I did buy Valens, 3,000 shares. I want more Valens. So the fact that Valens keeps going down is kind of a gift. I am looking at Metafarm Labs. I'm not going to lie. I would have liked buying them at $1.20 more than $1.70, but I'm really interested in having a few thousand shares of labs, like at least a few thousand shares. So I'm looking at a lot of different stocks. We just need one more like, and I'm going to give you guys a bunch of picks. One more like. So just smash that like, and I'll give you guys a bunch of picks. And thank you guys for being here. There you go. Thank you. You guys are the best. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm not going to make you guys wait because I respect you guys. Respect you because you respect me. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so just so you guys know, the Dow Jones is down 4% today, 820 points. The S&P 500 is down 4% today, 94 points. NASDAQ is down 1.7% today, 120 basis points. And the global Dow is down 3.62% today, 79 basis points. Gold up 4.9% today at $73. I am bullish on gold. I do believe we see gold at 2000 in 2020. Oil at 2337, up 3%. I'm up on oil, bought it at 22. It's now 23, but I'm holding. I think it's going to go higher. Very, very bullish at these prices on oil. I can't see it staying under 20 range for too long. Um, oil was at 50 not too long ago. That's the way my brain works. Buy low, sell high. I mean, that's just the way I invest, and it seems to work. It's worked this far. 42 years old. I've gotten this far in my life. So hopefully it will continue to work. Now I'm going to give you guys some picks that I've identified with the help of the community. Thank you guys for all these picks. And some of these picks are just ridiculous. First of all, I want to show you guys DFNS. DFNS is up 21,275%. DFNS. I guarantee you've never heard of this one before. Um, LGL Systems Acquisitions, it's up 21,275% at $8.55. I'm not telling you to buy these stocks. I just need you to be aware of them. The next stock is ABMC. ABMC is also doing test kits for the coronavirus. They are up 199% at $0.32 cents right now. ABMC is one of the hottest stocks of the day that nobody knows about except for you guys that are watching right now. A, B, M, C. Apple, Bob, Mary, Charlie. A, B, M, C. Up 199% at 32 cents. That's right. Test kits for the coronavirus. I got to give it up to the community, man. The community brought me this pick. I believe it was Jeff who gave me this pick. Thank you, Jeff, if it was you that gave me this pick. Um, I got more picks for you guys, though. Don't worry. I got more where that came from. JFIN is up 84%. JFIN screaming up 84%. RTTR, Ritter Pharmaceuticals, one of my picks that I own. I've talked to you guys about them before. Up 57% at $0.43. Cents, screaming. H-O-T-H, -H, up 54% screaming. A-T-H-E, up 47%. It is screaming. S-O-L-I has been talked about by many members today, up 
37%. It's just screaming. Don't worry, give it to me. I'll pass it. I'll write it down. You want me to write these all down? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants the picks, guys. You guys are not the only ones that want the picks, eh? Everybody wants the picks. Everybody wants the picks. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. We're going to go through it. So um, I don't want anybody to buy this DFNS, but it's up 21,000%. So I'm just going to write it down. DFNS and then ABMC and then J. F I N and then R T T R. I am a shareholder of R T T R. I'm very happy today. H O T H A T H E. I apologize, I'm too fast sometimes. S O L I and then A Y T U and then Gold stocks that are running today, um, gold ETFs, JNUG, J-N-U-G, is up 32%. Wow. Buy the dips on this baby. Um, and N-U-G-T, which I'm a shareholder of, very happy about that today, making a big move, N-U-G-T, up 31%. Those two are gold ETFs. Another stock that's up big is H-Z-T. And then another stock that's up big, and this was brought to me by the community. Man, this is all you guys. A lot of these picks are RNX, Royal Nickel, up 28%, making a huge move today. Another stock that's up today is Zoom. Zoom Communications, ZM, the symbol on the NASDAQ, up 20%. Then we got Kinross Gold, symbol K in Canada, KGC in America. They're up 15%. And then we got TDOC, which I brought to you guys first. TDOC, the number one telemedicine stock in the world, to up today 14%. There you go. And by the way, Ritter Pharmaceuticals, RTTR, is up 55%. That's a lot there to look at. You can, put, you can add to your watch list. Well, I just want more. Do one or two and go for my walk. Is that the right one? No, no, I wrote them down. Yeah, but that one, J A M B. No, no, no. I don't know what that one is. Oh, you just said. No, I wrote the ones that I said. Okay. All there. Yeah, okay. those are all the ones. Okay. The one that's up like crazy that has test kits is A B M C. It's now up two hundred and thirty-one percent. It's screaming. A B M C. It's at thirty-six cents. It's up two hundred and thirty-one percent. It's just screaming. Like absolutely screaming, screaming. ABMC is screaming, guys. ABMC is just screaming, like absolutely screaming. Like, are you guys even watching this thing? Holy smokes. ABMC, let's see what the RSI is at. Yeah, the RSI is at 85, so it's overbought. Probably going to have a dip right now, but momentum is a powerful thing, man. I don't always like to go against momentum. And right now, we're talking about it, right? So the whole world is learning about ABMC. Everybody's buying. They're like, oh, my God, Rich called ABMC, and it's going up. Buy it. But that's really the last thing you should be doing. You shouldn't be chasing it, right? Just be careful. I wouldn't be chasing something up 222% right now. But, hey, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything we talk about here in Rich TV Live. I'm not a licensed advisor. I'm a trader just like you. Yes, I have a trading academy. Yes, I am a better than the average trader. There's no doubt about it. But I'm not going to consider myself the best trader in the world. Not yet. I'm working on that. I'm working on it. One day, maybe I can be in the conversation. But I do believe I am one of the best stock pickers right now in the world. And I believe I'm going to get better at it. RMTI, guys. I'm telling you, RMTI. Don't say I didn't warn you. I told you guys about TDOC when it was at 100. It's now at 160. RMTI is very affordable. I think it could go way, way, way higher. Just saying. Just saying. Yo, Jeff. Yeah, hey, Jeff, guys. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I'm going to make you a moderator here, bro. You're a beast. You are a beast. So I'm going to add you as a moderator. Jeff has been giving me so many picks, guys. So much information every single day. 
I think it was Jeff that gave me ABMC this morning. And Jeff, thank you for your picks, bro. You are a beast, man. Jeff says, virus stocks are the way to go. One announcement makes wonders. ABMC was good in the AM today. I like to contribute when I can. Everyone here, please share with the community. It benefits all. Yes, Jeff, you're a genius. That's exactly what I envisioned when I started this three years ago. If everybody shares all their picks and everybody shares all their ideas all the time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the picks every day and try to find the best ones that could explode before they explode. I'm going to do research. I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to do my best to try to find them and bring them before they explode, like I did with Sona, like I did with AYTU yesterday. My brain is already thinking about what is going to go up tomorrow. That's the way I'm wired. I'm already thinking about tomorrow. The market hasn't even closed yet. I'm already thinking about tomorrow because I'm thinking about what are the next winners for you, the people that we can identify today for tomorrow. You guys need to be looking for all the best picks and bring it to me. Rich, take a look at this. Rich, take a look at that. How do you think I heard about AYTU? It was from you guys. You know, when you guys yell enough and say, Rich, AYTU, FDA approval, AYU. AYTU, FDA approval. I started doing the research. I'm like, oh my God, this is this, this could get huge. And boom, AYTU explodes. So it's the power of the community that's allowing me to help you help us because the community brings me the picks a lot of the time. I do the research and if I like it, I put it on a platter for you guys and it's up to you guys to decide what you want to do from there. I'm not a licensed advisor. I'm not going to tell you when to buy. I'm not going to tell you when to sell. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm not going to tell you what to sell. But I'm going to give you my opinion on different companies that I think have a chance to do extremely well, that I think that have a chance to explode, that I think have a chance to go up. And my attitude has always been look for the best companies, buy them when they're down, sell when you're in the green. Take your money and run. When you're up 10% or more, you should always be thinking about selling. Have your finger ready on the trigger. Take your money and run. And put stop losses so that if you do make a bad trade, you are protected and you're not going to blow your entire account. So this is the best advice I can really give to you guys. Jeff Noack says, Rich, I think you were too young when the TV business was huge. Does anyone remember the TV sat business? I don't really know. Sam says, bought 24,000 last week, sold at 5,000, lost, couldn't hold it any longer. What did you buy 24,000 of last week? Hey, respect, Jeff. I appreciate you, brother, man. Wash your hands, guys. Wash your hands. Stay safe and wash your hands and stay inside. Stay inside. It's not that hard. We can help save humanity by just staying inside. Trump is even saying that we might be able to go outside in two weeks, or at least Americans. Trump is saying that he might decide to allow Americans to go outside as early as in two weeks. That's not that bad. Satellite TV? Yeah, I know the satellite TV business. I mean, I never really got into it, but I mean, everyone had satellites and stuff. Dishes. NBDR up 139% at almost five cents. Medical supply, transport, and test kits at home. Also CBD items. Thank you, Philip. NBDR. Yo, I like that pick. NBDR. NBDR. No borders. Up 112% at four cents. Up 119% at 438. 27 million shares traded at four cents. Hey, thank you for the pick, man. It's on my watch list. Duly noted. By the way, guys, RTTR is screaming. 
Ritter Pharmaceuticals is screaming. It's now at 47 cents. It's going right up. It's up 72%. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, wow. Gold is screaming, guys. NUGT is up 33%. The Bull Gold Miners ETF up 32.71% right now. And JNUG, another junior gold miners ETF, up 35% right now. RMTI is up 6% right now. Labs is starting to climb a little bit, up 4%. SQQQ, the short ETF. ProShares, Ultra Pro short ETF, QQQ. SQQQ is up 4% at $30.50. Um, those are the plays that are up today. I want to see what's down and see if I see anything that I want to buy for tomorrow. You guys have anything that you're looking at to buy tomorrow? Buy for tomorrow that's down right now? I know Vio is at $6.71 and they're down 7%. It might be a buying opportunity for Novio. Um, Jeff, what's that medicine pick, bro? What's that one medicine pick you had? If there's any other picks you guys think I should be looking at and adding to my watch list, please let me know. There's another medicine pick, medical pick, M-E. Yeah, A-Y-T-U is approved by the FDA. Absolutely. S A B R. What's the what's the medicine one? It's like a medicine symbol. M E D something. It's a medicine one. It's been screaming. Do you guys know? Someone gave it to me. I can't remember exactly what it was. Fernando says, Rich, I'm holding meds. M E D S. Let's see. Is it meds? M E D. M E D S. Meds. Yes, meds. Thank you for the pick, my friend. Meds. M-E-D-S. Guys, look at this. This thing has been screaming. M-E-D-S. Thank you very much for that. See, that's the power of community, man. I just ask you. Thank you, Jay. You know what, Jay? I'm going to make you a moderator just for that, just for helping me, man. I appreciate that. Respect. I'm going to add you as a moderator. Moderators have special privileges. You guys get a wrench, and you guys have the ability to... If anybody says anything weird, you have the ability to put them in a timeout or just remove them out of this chat altogether so that we can really focus on the winners, man. That's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on making money. Yeah, meds did go for a while. That's right. LBL. LBL. Thank you for the picks, man. And meds is up 23% right now, guys. LBL. Lattice Bio. At 11 cents. Okay. What else, guys? Is there anything else I should be looking at as the market comes to a close? M O D S. Mods? You're talking about moderators. <laughs> Wow, RTTR is screaming up 75% right now. It's just screaming. Wow. RTTR, Ritter Pharmaceuticals, is screaming. Is there any news? Why is this screaming? They are doing a merger with Qualigen. Wow, the NDBR, the NBDR pick is doing extremely well. It's up 135%. Some big news and the stocks skyrocket.
Yeah, I think RMTI, especially at a dollar thirty where it hit. Now at two twenty four, hit a bottom at a dollar thirty. In the last uh, five days, it's been as high as three sixty four. Currently at two twenty four. So Rockwell Medical is waiting for FDA approval. If they get FDA approval, I'm going to be all over RMTI. And I'm a shareholder of RMTI. I do own a 1,000 shares. If this thing explodes, I'm going to be very happy, man. And I've been trying to keep you guys updated on it, so stay tuned. I'm always trying to stay on top of these FDA approvals. I feel like they're very, very powerful tools. XBI, XBI. Another ETF, eh? XBI, S&P Biotech ETF, down 2%. Thank you for the pick. Nova Gold Resources, one that I've told you guys about a lot, is up 8% today. Big day for Nova Gold Resources. Ianthus is actually up 10% today, so they seem to be doing pretty well. C-O-R-V, watch, C-O-R-V. C-O-R-V at 34 cents. C-O-R-V. I would be careful. They got some, looks like they got some lawsuit issues in their news. Have a look at O-V-A-T. O-V-A-T. Hey, thank you guys for the 57 likes, by the way. I really appreciate that. I don't ask for likes. Once we hit our targets, then that's it. We hit our goal, we move on. No need to talk about it at that point. But I appreciate the fact you guys keep hitting it. It means a lot. O-V-A-T down 17%. A low of 28 and a half, a high of 55. What is this? What is this chart? This chart is the uh, OVAT, a low of 13 cents and a high of 65 over the last year. Interesting play. I have to do more research on it. I don't know anything about it. Matt Viano says LBL has big potential. Is that the one that got 11 cents? What can I tell you about IBIO? I think IBO, IBIO is really good. And I think these coronavirus companies are going to have runs. So the next run that IBIO has, be ready to sell. That's the best advice I can give you. And with these coronavirus companies, when they're down, that's when you want to buy them. And when they're up, that's when you want to sell them. You don't want to get stuck holding them, waiting for a huge explosion one day. That's not the way you should trade. You should watch them, buy them when they're down. Then they put out news. They run, sell them. Stay in cash. They're very risky. Guys like Andrew left at Citron Research, he's shorting them. And he's saying that they're all scams. So you got to realize what we're dealing with here. Michelle Clark says, BC government announces $5 billion stimulus. That's good. That's positive. Why UVXY suck? UVXY. Pro shares ultra VIX short term futures down 16%. It was just too high up. It had to come back down. That's probably why. A lot of volatility in these markets right now. RD Sully says tilt their Blackbird cannabis delivery sales up 400% this week with store closures in Nevada. Wow. That's big. Thank you for the info there, man.
Philip says NBDR said they diluted 3% of their stock, but it's still been blowing up all day since their news. Hey, because they're in a hot sector right now and everybody's just pouring money into coronavirus. TVIX. Might be a buying opportunity for the TVIX, but, you know, the market's down today. So you would want to buy the VIX on days when the market's up, not on days where market's down. And TVIX might just be coming down just because it was already too far up. TVIX down 31% on a down day. So might just be coming back down because it was too far up. They're being they're adjusting. That's why you got to take your profits when you see them. Matt Viano says LBL Lattice Biologics, or the company announced it has begun enrolling patients in its phase one clinical trial to address safety and efficiency of its novel stem cell technology. It's big. Fernando says, I entered on 181 on IBIO. I'm losing. I guess now I need to hold. Let me look at IBIO for you for a second. Wow. So IBIO is at $1.22 right now. Um, in the last month, it's been as low as $0.26 cents and as high as $3.40. I think if you hold, you're going to be fine. Um, just next time you see it go of above 180, sell it. I wouldn't panic. I would just hold it, and next time I see it go above my my uh, price, I'd sell it. By the way, guys, Labs is climbing. Uh, no, nah, not really. It's up four percent. Thought it was. Um, is there anything climbing right now? At the close, wow, ABMC, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is the one. ABMC climbing into the close. Oh, my goodness. RSI at 92. ABMC up 245% at 38 cents. Wow. ABMC, man. Woo I got to do more research and learn about it, but I know they're a test kit company, but man, they smoke. They smoke and going into the close here. They're smoking going into the close here. Gold is up 5%. Gold screaming at 1562.50. Oil up 3% at $23.36. Global Dow down 3.4%. NASDAQ down 1.4%. S&P 500 down 3.8%. And the Dow Jones down 698 basis points, 3.6%. But not as bad as what I thought it would be today. So this is actually kind of a, almost a win. Because <laughs> I thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> NTEC? NTEC. NTEC. Intech Pharma. Down 7% at 17 cents. Hey, thank you for the picks. I'm just going to keep adding them to my watch list, and I'll watch them, and I'll research them. And if I see any good news or any reasons why I think that they could do well, I might even do videos on them. So just keep giving me the picks, guys. This is how we find the winners as a community. CPHI. Yeah, Jeff, ABMC, bro. You're a beast, bro. CPHI. You're a beast. I wish I bought it, man. <laughs> Oh, man, it was at 24 cents when I found them this morning, and I didn't buy it. I was happy making 800 bucks today on Sona. So I sold my Sona, made 800 bucks. I was happy with that. Said I'm going to stay in cash and wait for my next trade. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to immediately buy something. But, yeah, CPHI, China Pharma on the Amex, up 16%. Looks pretty interesting. A high of... high of $1.40 and a low of $0.21. Cents. So, yeah, they look interesting, CPHI. I just don't know if I trust anything that's an Asian stock. It's just not really my thing. I just try to avoid those as much as possible. Matt says, I'm holding Sona for now. 
I was so into doing right now. I sold it and forgot about it. <laughs> Let me take a look at it. Um, sold it. Cut it. Probably sold a little higher. Oh yeah, look, it's trading higher than when I sold it. No, it's trading right where I sold it. I sold it at one thirteen, but I could see it went to one twenty. So, what do you do? I could have sold a little bit higher, but hey, it is what it is. It hit one twenty today. So yeah, I sold at one thirteen. It's right now at one thirteen. Took my eight hundred. If I waited, I could have sold me a thousand. Sold at one twenty, probably would have made a thousand. But hey, it is what it is, man. Beggars can't be choosers, man. Just take my eight hundred and run. RTTR up seventy four percent at forty eight and a half cents right now. RTTR is running into the close. NBDR up one hundred thirty seven percent. ABMC at thirty six cents now. 36 and a half up 231 percent all of these stocks are doing extremely well going into the close gold was running but it's kind of come back a little bit um anything else ttwo take two is doing well labs yeah labs is running into the close here labs uh Weird. It went as high as a dollar eighty-four, back now to one seventy-eight. So it's been bouncing up and down. But uh, oh, back to one eighty-six. Look at this labs. So weird. So labs now up nine percent at a dollar eighty-six. So my instinct on labs was right. I wanted to buy it, but I've been waiting for a dip, and it seems to be climbing right now at a dollar eighty-six, up nine percent. Labs is doing really well going into the close, and RMTI. It's like people are listening. RMTI at $2.28, up 8% going into the close, waiting on FDA approval. Waiting on FDA approval. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, we are just minutes away from the close, guys. If there's anything else I need to look at, please let me know. Oh, ABMC is falling here at the close now. People are taking profits up 206% now at $0.33. Cents ABMC. Just watching everything at the close. SOLI is up 38% at the close. MEDS up 24% at the close. What else? Sona doing well at $1.15, up 15%. Labs up 9% at $1.86. What else? Anything else I should be looking at, guys? Jeff says, sold my Sona Friday, but happy. Hey, man, take the money and run, brother. There's always new. There's going to be always new picks every day. Uh, Fernando says, hey, Rich, look over Uber. Great opportunity. Hey, thank you for the pick. I'm a big fan of Uber and Lyft. I don't know how they're going to do in a situation like this. Um, but, yeah, I do see opportunity there. I really do. Uh, we're talking about a stock that's been as low as 13 just recently. Now at 22. And as high as 47. So I do believe that Uber has a chance to go way, way, way higher. So does Lyft, actually, for that uh, matter. I'm a big fan of Lyft, too. And Lyft up 5% today. And both of them have been destroyed. Lyft has been as high as $88, folks, as low as 14 and currently at 22 I think both Lyft and Uber can go much higher than this. However, they might go lower before they go higher just because of the situation we're dealing with. Right now, gold is screaming into the close up 5.4% at 15.65, up $80 on the day. The market's actually bouncing back right now. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well right now. Not so bad. Market's bouncing back. Jeff says, you too can have picks, just get up at 4 a.m. Yeah, it's true. People that do the research are the ones that win. Travis says, hey, Rich, check out CDOR. CDOR. Okay, we're almost at the bell, guys. Get all your trades in. Try to get in cash as much as possible, guys. If you're up on something, I would just sell it. But that's just me. And get cash rich for the next day. Get ready for the next trade. Um, but that's just me. It's up to you. If you want to hold something because you think it's going to go higher, hold it. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. I'm not telling you what to do. I just want to give you my advice and give you my opinion and help you become a better trader. I'm not here to tell you what to do ever. 
You tell me what you're doing, and hopefully as a community, we can come up with a strategy that's going to work for everybody involved. CDOR up 14%, a low of $290, a high of $11. It's an interesting pick. Cantor Hospitality Trust, Inc. I'd have to do more research to find out more. Volumes at 55,000 shares. Uh, um, interesting pick. Thank you for the pick. I'd have to do more research. I know nothing about these guys, but thank you for the pick. Jeff says, heard Hexo was low today. Yeah, Hexo's been getting smashed. But it was also doing extremely well the last couple of days last week. Thunderbird says, Russell almost back to where it was in 2007 at start of bank crisis. Could be a buying opportunity. Silver really low as well. Harvest Health, yeah, huge opportunity there. Why is Moderna tanking? I just think that's creating a buying opportunity. It's the market makers playing games. Is it a good buy to buy H-O-T-H right now? H-O-T-H. H-O-T-H. Hoth Therapeutics. Um, up 26%. I would wait for a red day. I would wait for a red day. But it does look like there's a lot of upside. Been as high as $9 in the last year. Uh, as low as $259. Currently at $348. Yeah, I think there's some big upside here. But I would try to wait and... Buy on a dip if you could. It is up 29% today. So i probably wait to buy on a dip. The RSI is showing at... Hmm, still showing that it could go higher. So the RSI is not overbought. So it could go higher. It's screaming up right now, actually. HOTH up 31% at 354. It's actually screaming up right now. Travis says, hey, Rich, check out this gold stock, SSR. Thank you for the pick, my friend. Thank you for the pick. SSR. SSR Mining. At $16.68 up. Sorry, $16.14 up 1%. Uh, hit a low of 12 just recently. Uh, high of 25 when everything was screaming. I like it. I like it. I like the way you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking. Very smart. I like it a lot, actually. Good pick. MMED. I'm a shareholder. MMED. Doesn't even show up on here. All right, market's closed, guys. We're now in the after hours. We're now in the after hours. And it looks as though after hours, things are already starting to go up. Interesting. MasterCard and Visa both down today, both up after hours right away. Interesting. See what the gold stocks are doing. If they're going up or down after hours. Uh, KGC. Yeah, gold is going up after hours. So gold is just screaming into the close. Just screaming. Gold screamed into the close. Dow finished down. 3%, 595 points, 597 points. S&P 500 finished down 2.96%, 68.22 basis points. NASDAQ was barely down 0.27%, 18.84 basis points. Global Dow down 3.17%, 69.97 basis points. Gold up $79 today. Huge day for gold, up 5.32% at $1,563.60 and oil up 3.14% today or 71 cents at $23.34. That's the day. All right, guys, that's the day of trading. Um, I'm going to wind down now and get ready for tomorrow. And if there's any other big news or anything that's trending, I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys for joining me. 
Thank you guys for the 65 likes. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. Try to bring you guys winners, and I try to bring them to you first with the help of you, the people, the community at home, bringing me the picks. I try to go through all of them and try to find you the best ones. I'm going to try to do it again for tomorrow. And if I don't find ones, it's because I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes you just don't know. Um, but I'm really happy about today's results. Very happy about AYTU. Very happy about Sona. Both picks, which I brought to you guys first yesterday. I'm very happy about RMTI having a very strong day today. And I'm very bullish on RMTI. And I'm a shareholder of RMTI. Um, I did sell my Sona today. Made an $800 profit. So I'm out of that and I'm sitting in cash on that position. Um, so I'm going to have some cash available for tomorrow. I'm going to be looking for my next trade. And if there's anything that you guys think I should be buying for tomorrow, please let me know. Okay. And um, Philip says, what are your thoughts on SNANF? So to Nanotech, they have produced test kits for the coronavirus. They are partnered with GE Healthcare. This is rallying hard. Yeah, I sold my my Sona today. So um, I brought you guys Sona first. I'm not surprised that they had a big run, but I will look for a dip to get in again. So stay tuned. This is your boy Rich from be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring the winners and we bring them to you first. It's true. I'm out. Peace. I'll probably be streaming. I think Trump will be live at 5.30. So I'll probably be streaming that because I like to hear what Trump has to say. I think it has a huge effect on the market. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Peace. Keep winning and keep watching, okay, people? Invest in the best because you deserve it.